Hello, fellow Divine Feminines. How are you doing out there? My name is Daniela Jumel, for those who may not know me. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. If you are old here, welcome. It's nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well. I am going to do uh, grab a card or two from my own home. Ooh, there we go. They just flew out from my own uh, little deck that I made because I feel like affirmations are in order. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I'm in a different environment than I have been in the past when I'm recording these kind of videos. Uh, this is my empty apartment. You're sitting on top of a box right now with my little phone holder because <laughs> I don't have any furniture in here yet. It's totally empty, but, <laughs> but that's okay. Furniture will get here soon. I just happen to have some time while I'm waiting to go to work. So what does the deck say? The deck says, what is meant for us will find us. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> it takes tremendous courage to believe in this love. You are stronger than you think. You are the key that opens all doors. And lastly, true love needs no defense. It simply is. Right. Now, I feel qualified to attest that, yes, what is meant for us finds us. It's impossible to miss what is meant for us for us. And that can be good things, that can be bad things, that can be indifferent things. Um, so when it feels like I'm never going to have my divine counterpart in a relationship that I, you know, would want to have long term, for example, um, because timing is in the way, because they have a family, because I have a family. Um, and it's not going to happen in the way that, in the time that I want it to happen. If, for example, uh, if you want to have children together with your divine masculine, a lot of women, you know, we worry about fertility and the, you know, timing of that stuff. But um, you can't miss what's meant for you. It's impossible. So... Don't worry about that if, if you're concerned about fertility and, um, you know, how that goes. Um, it will work out the way it's supposed to work out. If you're meant to have a child or children uh, with your Divine Masculine, you will. Simply. Um, whether that be biologically or if you adopt children. It's all possible, depending, you know, what's, what's meant for you. It's just a matter of letting, letting things happen naturally and not trying to force an outcome. Forcing an outcome usually gets you the opposite. In my experience, that's certainly been the case. So, yeah, you'll always find what you need somehow. It just might look different than what you might think. So, just bearing that in mind. Yeah, it takes tremendous courage to believe in this love. You are stronger than you think. Yeah, there are crazy amounts of time, especially in the beginning, when you think to yourself, this isn't real, this can't be true. This, this is too good to be true, right? Like that's something we learn earlier on in life, right? About about stuff. We learn to be cynical. When somebody says, this is amazing, you know, this product, if you buy this product, it will solve all of your problems, <laughs> you know, and we learn early on, well, that's just garbage. When some salesperson says that to you, they're not saying that because it's true. They're saying it because they want to make a sale, <laughs> right? Like we learn that stuff early on in life and we tend to believe it when it comes to our own feelings too. Um, we tend to believe that 
you know, these feelings aren't actually true. We're making them up. We're delusional. We're, um, yeah, we're just not, it's just not real, you know, and that's the ego coming in to, to convince us of that. And you can't feel and think the same way about your own personal feelings, the way you would think about someone at a cosmetic counter saying, buy this cream, it will solve, you know, all of your life's problems <laughs> by putting, you know, hyaluronic acid in your face and making your wrinkles go away, right? Like, we know that that's just largely hogwash. Um, but we also tend to treat our feelings that way too. And that's not, that's not healthy. Don't, don't treat your feelings as though you're some salesman trying to convince yourself of something because <laughs> it's not the same. I know that sounds really obvious and rudimentary, but you know, when you're having feelings of doubt and worry and just fear, anxiety, all of that stuff, you know, it makes us feel weak. It makes us feel like, no, we, I can't. I can't do this. I can't. This is, I, this is way, way, way bigger than, than I can handle. And I'm just not strong enough. Uh, I can't be there for that person the way I want to be there for them every single day of my life because I'm just not good enough to to do that you know we tell ourselves cruel things like that to sort of punish ourselves and hold us in place and make us you know toe the line right because you know, a lot of us were raised that way. You know, you do as you're told and you, once you make your bed, you lie in it and you don't change anything about that bed, you know? And it's thinking that way that keeps us caught in old patterns, old beliefs, old ideas that don't really serve. They may have served once at one time, but, and that's okay. They just don't necessarily serve right now. And that's, that's okay too. Like, um, there's a lot of forgiving that needs to happen. And forgiveness requires strength and a lot of it from us. So you are stronger than you think and stronger than you feel. <laughs> um, but it's the best conviction I've ever had in my whole life to believe that this is real and this is happening because here I am, you know, uh, this would not be here if it was not meant for me to find it and make it happen. You know, it, it, it just wouldn't be here. And here it is. So I feel like one of those people in a diet commercial, I'm living proof, you know, <laughs> that this works, you know, except I'm not trying to peddle you, you know, diet supplements or something silly. Um, in this case, <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to get the point across that, you know, things can change even after a long time of being the same. It is indeed possible, even if it seems it isn't. It is. And yeah, you are the key that opens all doors is true in that when you believe in yourself and the, the love and just awe that exists inside of you when you're with your person in their company and whatever that looks like and having a good time with them um, that's all from within yourself that you can see the, all those things and feel those things 
and that is the key that you need to open the doors that you might not even know were there around you. And sometimes somebody else might have a key, but you can, you can get that key too um, when it's the right time. Um, when I met my landlord who owns this building, you know, He's very nice, very kind, caring individual who, you know, makes his income off of us for his retirement, you know, and it felt nice because he wasn't this big boogeyman, nasty building manager kind of guy who doesn't give a crap and just wants to collect your money for rent and doesn't, you know, care about you. Um, you're just a check and a signature and that's all I care about kind of attitude, you know They're not always gonna be that way. Of course some people are gonna be that way, but not everyone and you know in my case it felt reassuring and comforting to meet this older fellow who um, You know held literally the key that I needed to unlock this door to get inside of here and to make that happen and help me make that happen. You know, there are people out there who actually do want to help and not take advantage of you or hurt you or something. I know we're trained to, to be cynical about everybody that we don't know. You know, we are just conditioned that way. Don't trust anyone. I remember hearing that from like a very early in life, like, four or five years old, you know, my parents, my grandparents, all those people in my life who had a hand in raising me, all fed me that line. Trust no one. They're all out to get you. You know, like that was very instilled from an early age. And while I understand the reason, <laughs> because that can be true, yes, but it is not always true so it's important to remember that yeah it, you can't view the world as all bad right it's just, because it isn't it's just not true it's not accurate it just is a way of limiting yourself into staying in one particular pattern because this is the pattern that I created a long long time ago that I understand and for good and for bad it works for me. So I'm just going to stick with what I know and not try and learn anything else because I don't want to risk losing <laughs> this way of life that I've come to understand, even though I don't necessarily enjoy it or want it that way. This is where I ended up. So this is where I must stay. You know, getting out of that is hard. It's really hard, huge challenge, but worthwhile in doing because once you get over that initial hump of you know making that change and deciding to take a step out that's terrifying to do but once you do you start realizing oh okay it's not so bad out here i think i can i actually have what i need to get by, you know, I have the, you know, the material things, I have a job, I have, you know, grocery stores around me where I can walk to and go and get food to eat, like, it'll, it's, it will be fine, it will be okay, like, <laughs> I've been telling myself things like that for the past year or two, um, just to remind myself that, yeah, like, it, it is okay. You don't need a husband to feel safe. Because that is what I learned to believe. Is I need a husband in order to feel safe and secure in this world because it is not safe. When now that I've you know been out on my own a little bit more, made my own connections with different people, 
out there that I don't know, you know, I've realized, oh yeah, not everybody is going to, you know, take advantage or try and steal from me or whatever. Like, people are not inherently going to do that all the time. And it's just important to be careful and discerning about that. That's all. I'm not saying trust everyone or just give and give and give or something like that. Like, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's important to recognize and learn how to recognize who actually does have good intentions and who doesn't have good intentions. And your intuition will tell you pretty much all the time. Uh, especially on this journey when you learn to connect with your intuition more. Um, once you get comfortable doing that, you'll start to see, oh yeah, okay, that person is fine. Um, I don't know them very well, but they're also not, you know, asking me for my credit card information <laughs> and trying to, you know, screw me over or something like that. Like, they're just, they're just a nice person and that's allowed to exist. You know, it sounds weird to say out loud, but that's certainly been a, a process for me to understand over recent years. And yeah, in closing, true love needs no defense. It simply is. A lot of times when we are on this, you know, twin flame journey, if you will, we think things like we need to defend ourselves. We need to uh, explain uh, what this is to people because people don't know necessarily what this experience is like in our culture, that people don't talk about it. It seems a bit fringe. It seems a bit weird. Um, it seems like it could be alienating and people might misunderstand and think you're some sort of delusional simp or something because that's how it can look to the untrained eye. But um, there's no need to worry about trying to explain it and defend it or anything like that to anybody. Because you know what the truth is. You know the feelings. You know this experience and this process. And it's okay that somebody else doesn't. They don't need to understand it. If, you know, if they don't want to, they won't. No matter how much you try and explain it or clarify things or yeah defend your position and who you are and all of that like don't do that don't worry about that you need to know what the truth is and you need to keep that straight in your head so that when you run into somebody who's like what are you what are you talking about that sounds crazy you're crazy you know you have to be super solid in yourself and and understand the truth and know that truth in your heart so that when you run into that kind of opposition you don't need to defend yourself you can just say okay you know that's how you feel i guess you know everyone's entitled to their opinion and their feeling it doesn't mean that i need to agree with it but i'm also not going to be yeah I, I'm not gonna let myself be persuaded into thinking that I've just lost my mind and gone crazy or something, you know, because that's what people like that will want to try and convince you of. And it's, it isn't true. It's just different than what is considered the norm uh, in, in our culture. And that's okay, people are allowed to live differently including us. Well, I feel like that was affirming and lovely, so I will leave us with that. Know that you are loved by me and the community, and of course by your person, especially when what? When you're loving yourself <laughs> and taking good care of yourself. And that means, you know, taking care of your body, but also feeding yourself the right food, drinking enough water, and giving yourself the time you need to meditate, to rest, rejuvenate, relax, 
do the self-care that you need to do. Really important. And that always draws your divine counterpart in every time without fail. Even if you fall off the wagon and you're starting kind of again, it's okay. That's what makes this so great. So hold on to that. And I'll see you in the next video.